Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. How it presents? PSVT has sudden onset and sudden termination. The most common type of PSVT in adults is also known as AVNRT or AV nodal reentrant tachycardia. PSVT can occur at any age and it and in healthy individuals too. The important thing to keep in mind about PSVT is it has sudden onset and sudden termination. Now how to diagnose PSVT? PSVT presents with a heart rate of 120 to 150 beats per minute. It is a narrow complex tachycardia which means it has a QRS duration of less than 0.12 seconds as you can see in the image above. In PSVT, atria and ventricle contract at the same time making P wave invisible or hidden behind the QRS complex. as you can see in the image above there is no p wave visible there is a t wave in between two qrs complex in some patients there is an inverted p wave visible after the qrs complex also known as pseudo s wave or pseudo r wave as you can see in this image there is a pseudo s wave after qrs complex in lead 2 and a pseudo r wave after qrs complex in lead v1 now we have diagnosed the patient of psvt how will we manage it first thing to do in the management of psvt is vagal maneuver like carotid massage to decrease down the heart rate if the maneuver is unsuccessful we'll proceed to pharmacological management in which we will try to give av nodal blocking agents to convert the rhythm of psvt into normal sinus rhythm adenosine is the first drug of choice initial dose of adenosine is 6 mg given as iv rapid bolus in a vein near to heart if the rhythm is not converted we will again repeat the adenosine with increased dose of 12 mg if this is still unsuccessful we will repeat the dose of adenosine once again with 12 mg and that will be the last dose if the treatment with adenosine is still unsuccessful we'll switch to longer acting av nodal blocking agents like beta blockers example of beta blocker is metoprolol dose of metoprolol is 2.5 mg to 5 mg given over 2 minutes repeat the dose every 5 minutes maximum total dose of metoprolol which can be given is 15 mg another beta blocker which can be used is esmolol dose of esmolol is 50 microgram per kg per minute given over 4 minutes if the bp and heart rate are not controlled we'll repeat the dose of esmolol with 50 microgram per kg per minute over 4 minutes other drugs which can be used are calcium channel blockers like diltiazem dose of diltiazem is 0.25 mg per kg which averages about 20 mg given over 2 minutes if the response is insufficient repeat the dose of 0.35 mg per kg which averages about 25 mg over 2 minutes another calcium channel blocker which can be used is verapamil its dose is 0.075 to 0.15 mg per kg which averages about 5 to 10 mg given over 2 minutes If the response is insufficient, repeat the dose after 15 to 30 minutes with 10 mg of verapamil. If the rhythm of PSVT still not converted or if the patient becomes hemodynamically unstable, it is advised to do cardioversion. In cardioversion, AHA recommends 50 to 100 joule of energy is sufficient to cardiovert the patient. Another technique which can be used in the management of PSVT is catheter ablation. It is a minimally invasive procedure. In catheter ablation, we insert a plastic tube of around 2 to 3 mm in diameter which is inserted via femoral artery or femoral vein. From there it is advanced to the heart where it can ablate the cells responsible for PSVT. That was all about PSVT. Thank you for watching this video.